Hey everyone, Let's Lounge here. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom text effect. And in this case, it's gonna be the neon text effect uh, where uh, it, you know, it kind of creates a little flicker in your text where it looks like it's like a neon sign coming on. Uh, you might think you need a, a plugin for this, and there are some plugins out there available to do this certain sort of thing, but uh, you can do the same exact text effect with no plugin, and I'm going to show you how right here. So, the first thing we need is our footage. I chose this like night scene, night city scene to go along with the uh, neon stuff that's going on in the background here. And what I need to do is just add a simple text layer here, and to do that on my keyboard, I'm going to hit the Control T key. And that's going to create a basic text layer and I'm going to cut it uh, probably right around here so I'm going to uh, choose the B key for the blade tool just cut it there a key for the arrow and we will delete that off uh, we can always change this again uh, if we need to so uh, I'm actually going to shorten it just a little bit more actually but uh, now that we have our text you can see that it says uh, title right here I'm actually gonna change it to whatever I wanted to say so um, I'm gonna call it city nights um, kind of make it like a like the beginning of a movie scene or something like that uh, choose whatever text that you like I'm gonna choose uh, this text here we'll do uh, thin and I'm actually gonna make this fill the screen a pretty good amount and again this is gonna be dependent on how you want it to look uh, but we are going to choose this right there. So this is what our text is going to appear like. And to make the neon effect sell it a little bit more, in your inspector here, we're going to go down to Glow. And we're going to click Show here so we can see Glow. And I'm going to change my Glow to white, but you can change the text to any color that you want. Uh, you can choose a blue with a nice light blue, neon blue kind of thing. I'm just going to make it look a little bit white. And I'm going to change the blur a little bit. So you see it's kind of blurring and feathering the edge. Maybe change the radius a little bit more. But definitely play with that blur. And we can play with the opacity to make it not as intense. But uh, I'm going to leave it just like that. That is our text layer that we're going to apply to our clip. So now, how do we get the flickering that you would kind of see in a text, uh, a neon text effect? Well, it's pretty easy actually. What we need to do is just zoom into our clip pretty much to where we're on a frame by frame basis here. And right around there would be good. Actually, I made it be a little bit lower so we can see here. So we want to make it flicker off and on real quickly and then show the text and we can do a flicker on and on out. So the way we're going to do this is get our blade tool. So again, B on your keyboard and we're going to click the, uh, at the beginning of our, uh, timeline here, we're going to click the right arrow on our keyboard and that's going to advance our clip one frame. So here we're going to click there to, to cut our text layer and then we're going to click the right key again to blade that again, uh, right there. And then we're going to do it another time there and then maybe another time. It just all depends on how much you want to do here. Um, so there, and we'll do off, on, off, on, off, and then we'll do one more here. Uh, let's see. There. All right, so now that we have that there, we can, uh, we can actually just zoom out a little bit more. And right there is good. Now we'll get our choose our A key on our keyboard to get the arrow again. Now we're going to highlight this first one, and holding the Command key, highlight the second one and highlight this one, this third here. So it goes. We're going to make it go off, on, off, on, off, and then on again. And so the way we toggle that off is to just click the V key on your keyboard, and that'll turn these off. So you can see it quickly, flicker off off and on real quick and then it goes and shows the text. So that is the basic text layer that you can see there. We're going to see it again, flicker on and off, and it looks really cool. So now let's go ahead and go all the way to the end and we're going to make it flicker on off and on again really quickly and then uh, the text will go away. Kind of like an in, uh, like an intro scene. So we're going to click here, get our blade tool again. This time we're going to click the left arrow to go back, uh, back to uh, one frame. Click there, Click there, click there. Uh, we'll do another one. We'll do five like we did the last one. Five little segments. And we'll get our A key again, and we will uh, turn this one off, turn this one off, and then turn this one off. 
And again, we'll click the V key to hide those. So it'll go like that and then flicker off and then fade out. So that is the basic effect to do that with. And it looks really, really cool. So the main thing that you also need to think about when you want to kind of sell this effect a little bit more is sound design. So we obviously need to have it sound like it's a, a flickering neon with kind of like a flickering hum. And the way you do that is just to download a sound effect of a neon sign. There's tons of them out there. Um, you can go to, um, you can go to, uh, you know, what's some of the sites? Uh, Soundstripe. Um, you can go to Storyblocks, stuff like that. I just found mine on YouTube, so I'm going to drag that in. And now, when we have our sound effect there, uh, let's go ahead and drag it into where we actually see the sound based on the sound wave. So right here, that's where it starts and we can play it here and you can see the difference. All right, so that is our effect. We'll play it one more time. All right, so that is basically it. It looks cool without the, uh, without the sound effect, but it really helps sell it a little bit more when you add that sound effect in there. Sound design for this kind of title scene is um, pretty much mandatory. You really need that. So that is the easy way of creating a neon text effect in Final Cut Pro. Hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. Head on over to LutzLounge.com. We have a bunch of stuff over there that you can uh, see kind of tutorials and gear reviews and all that kind of stuff. So thank you for joining me in this video. Catch you in the next one.